It's a beautiful day here in the only sentient part of the known universe, and you join us in the Bulldozer Prime system where High Chief and First Class Passenger Bingo Hazmat has graciously agreed to allow citizens to watch both live and behind the scenes footage of our first steps towards a brighter, more prosperous future. The Blessed Miggins Bulldozer Armada is about to leave our solar system for the first time, and you'll be with us for every part of this historic adventure. I'm Colonel Failure, Flight Control here at Bulldozer Station. Now strap on your boosters and prepare yourself for our journey into the unknown. Megan's Armada, this is Bulldozer Station. Please charge your hyperlane engines and set course for System 1. Commence full scan upon arrival and transmit your findings via hyperspace, um... Uh, uh, hyperspace wob uh, whatever it's called the radio thing yeah send back what you find once you've found some stuff so that we can then go and build some things and and do well and and that <laughs> this sounds like a great idea moving into formation Now, while my faithful fleet are off exploring the unknown, I figured we'd do some uh, some more sedentary exploring of the unknown. And uh, my physicist, uh, Fruity McTwist, is going to get to work on uh, making sure that they can work faster, which is uh, it's a good move. Uh, while Strontium Cat, the biodiversity officer, is going to do similar and make sure we research as fast as possible. Uh, but Oscar White Blanket, who is taking charge of the engineering side of things, is going to make sure that uh, that our minerals are being produced as quickly as possible. Because you want a lot of minerals, because you can turn those into things like uh, um, like toasters. Yeah, toasters are good, and uh, and spaceships, and satellites, and mining stations, and all that kind of jazz. Uh, I figure all that kind of jazz is probably going to be fairly helpful, so, uh, so we'll get rolling with that as quickly as possible. Now, the overall scheme that we've got going on is, uh, well, first off, poke around the outskirts of the... Uh, uh, the Bulldozer Prime system and see if there's anything out there that is worthy of investigation. Uh, I'm sure there'll be something. I mean, there's there's inevitably going to be uh, some stuff that we haven't discovered within Bulldozer Prime uh, in the past. And, uh, well, once we've looked into that, we'll, we'll I don't know, we'll, we'll figure out what to do next, I suppose. Having thoroughly digested my bumper book of space exploration for complete beginners, uh, what I know to do best here is to explore as much as possible while uh, while we're not being harassed by uh, interstellar unpleasantries. And uh, those interstellar unpleasantries can come from a myriad sources, uh, whether it's uh, space whales, which aren't a thing, uh, or, uh, or sentient rocks, which also aren't a thing, and, uh, and then aliens, uh, which uh, half the population of Bulldozer Prime seem to think are real, but anyone with their head screwed on knows they're not real. So, uh, so we're going to poke about and hopefully we will stumble across the kind of planet that would be absolutely ideal for my furry cat people to go settle on. Uh, we won't speak about the other species that lives with us at the moment, but I'm sure we'll bump into them in the fullness of time. Anyway, uh, the first day has been pretty productive. Uh, we've got a second science ship out and that's, uh, that's poking around the they were poking around our perimeter fundamentally and uh you know we'll uh, we'll we'll keep pressing on until something dramatic occurs well there's an absolute shocker turns out there is alien life after all but what we're talking about here is fundamentally soupy plankton uh, i mean it's it's not something we particularly need to worry about and maybe it will even be usable as something of a stew or solvent perhaps uh, could be could be handy in, in greasing the uh, the hyperlane transit engine. I, I'd love to tell you what it was called, but I can't remember. Um, so there you go, aliens. They're real. Congratulations, everybody. I'm sure the folks at uh, our equivalent of NASA that I possibly should have thought up a name for in advance uh, will be popping champagne corks as we speak. Now, as we start to develop our territory a little further, and I've, I've slung an outpost up there uh, in a neighbouring system, uh, largely because there's a planet in there that, that looks like it might possibly, conceivably, be uh, viable for the cat people. Uh, Dozarians, where we're street is speaking, called. Uh, but, uh, but we have managed to ascertain uh, the shape of the wilderness out there, 
I got uh, various nebula, 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 la la la, la la nebula, and uh, yeah, they're nice. Um, I plan on going there at some point for my holidays. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got more exploration to do. Uh, but we want to uh, continue to expand our realm and uh, and get our second uh, second system up and frisking, uh, because a, a frisking system. Is, is pretty much exactly what you want. Um, anyway, it is mostly habitable. Uh, our fur should not be too uh, sweat-ridden uh, as a course of, uh, of settling here. Uh, so we're going to uh, we're going to get a, a colony ship sent out as quickly as possible. And uh, I think uh, the, the suitable name for our second colony is, uh, is going to be Scowling Frank, uh, named after the legendary Scowling Frank, uh, who is, of course, legendary. Friendly Genocide 1, this is Bulldozer Station. Uh, cut your mooring clamps and uh, head out to the perimeter and then make your jump for Planet Designate Scowling Frank. How'd you copy? Roger that. Activating hyperdrive. So with our first colony ship on its way to its destination, I think we're actually we're actually doing pretty well to start with. Uh, obviously tech's still being researched. I've still got some stuff being built at home planet. Uh, with Bulldozer Prime, that's what I called it, yeah. Um, and uh, and we've got plenty of external exploration going on in an exciting and exotic fashion. And, uh, and with all, well, if all goes to plan, uh, we should continue our expansion for some time and hopefully become fairly prosperous. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this very first adventure into space. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. Why don't you do yourself a favour and subscribe to the series? Uh, that will continue apace after this fairly slow-paced starting episode. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.